So 21-year-old Elian Urson uh, boarded an aircraft and live-streamed the whole thing. Let's just watch the moment she got on the plane and started that broadcast. I'm right now at an airport, at an airplane, and there's a person getting deported to Afghanistan. Please don't take my phone, don't touch my phone. And the people here working are trying to take my phone away from me just because Shut the person down, is going to get deported to Shut Afghanistan down. where there's war and he's Shut. going to get killed. So there's a man on board that aircraft who is going to be deported to Afghanistan and by standing up and not taking her seat, Ellen prevented the aircraft taking off. Now she was told many times to sit down by the crew and indeed a passenger as well. Just watch this uh, altercation with uh, an English sounding passenger. And you're upsetting all the people down there. What? So I don't care I'm, what you think. I'm just asking. I'm just what you, is more care. important, your no, life no. or the time? What about all these children on here? You, you are frightening. Take your phone off. Don't take my phone. Off. Thank you. So um, an English guy just got really angry and he stole my phone, but the flight attendant was really nice and took it back for me and gave it back. So this was all live streamed, and this video now has been viewed more than three and a half million times. In that clip, an English man, well, an English sounding man, trying to take the phone out of Ellen's hands. Now, eventually, by the end, people were standing up, other people, whether to support her or just to see what was going on. But the effect was the same, and the man was taken off the aircraft. The uh, asylum seeker deported, uh, taken off the aircraft and not deported. And this is the moment that Ellen broke down when she was applauded by other passengers on the plane. <laughs> They're taking his bags out, so I'm just waiting for the flight attendant to make me shit say that it's okay for me to go out the back of the plane to go out. Hello. So let's give you a bit of context to this. Ellen Erson is a 21-year-old student activist, and we in the Cube here, we've reached out to the group she belongs to who oppose Sweden's policy, the policy of the government, of deporting asylum seekers back to Afghanistan. Sweden uh, insists that Afghanistan is a safe country. Well, activists uh, like Ellen disagree, and they do not want the government to keep on with that policy. This is a hot topic in Sweden ahead of an election, the general election, in September. Now, Ellen's group bought a ticket on that flight. They confirmed this to us. They bought that ticket. So this was an arranged protest um, to be on that aircraft to make sure uh, that the man on board would not be deported. There's been a real mix of uh, people, a lot of support uh, users like Eva Marie Larsson here saying that you are so brave, Erin. Other people, though, pointing out that Sweden has systems, to quote Richard here as a user in Sweden on Facebook. We can't take care of everyone. Sit down is his message there. So it's unclear what actually has now happened to the man who was not deported on that flight, but also questions about what will happen next to Ellen, who could be facing jail time or even a fine. You can let us know your thoughts on this story using hashtag the Q. Another